At Mungania Tea Factory, the organization has facilitated the construction of two modern car and motorcycle sheds for the staff working at Mungania Tea Factory. This has created a safer parking ground for the vehicles since the workers lacked a space in the factory to park their vehicles, hence resorting to parking outside the factory's compound, which was not safe. Employees of Mungania were very proud of their parking ground. Wali tu, wakati tulitana mkutano tuka tukachukua proposal sao wakasema wanataka wanjengewe car park na ndio tulinjenga na wakafurahi sana juu sasa hiyo car park inawasaidia sana juu ya kupaki magari yao sasa hii haichomeki na jua na hata kunyeshewa inyeshewi juu samani walikuwa wana park huko nje singine wana park na huku kwa makamps na it is very risky by now the Magari yao iko si. Kapasite ya car park inaweza toshea magari kumi na mawiri. Pande ya piki piki inaweza toshea kama amusini hivi. As a way of supporting and promoting their staff welfare, the organization procured a 51-seater bus and a 14-seater van which the organization rents out to them at subsidized rates. Hii basi ilikuwa imenunuliwa kama ya wafanyikazi eh ndio wali decide kununua hii wakati wali tulienda kwa mkutano wakasema proposals wa wanunue bus iwe inawasaidia kwa tunateseka sana juu tulikuwa tunaenda huko nje tunapata gari za huko nje sinakuja tunasaidia lakini tunalipa at a high price lakini hii sasa tunalipa at a low price eh at a low price sawa wafanyikazi wanafurahi sana Uchu, tunalipa at, at a subsidized, subsidized price. Even though Fairtrade seeks to support community-based projects, factory staffs are also eligible to benefit from the premiums because of the integral role they play in the tea processing course. Much as uh, we, we, we help the general community, which comprises mostly of our farmers, we also like uh, encouraging and motivating our workers through the same premiums because as I said earlier, they play a great role in uh, our uh, tea, tea value chain production. For any project to be eligible for funding by fair trade organization, it must have been proposed by the members of the community. Uh, after the farmers and the, the staff propose their project, mm -hmm. we go ahead and call for a uh, AGA, Kama Annual General Assembly, whereby we call the community members, we present to them the pre-fund um, project and we are there to approve or disapprove. After we approve the project, of course, uh, the needs of our community are many, but we usually choose the most needed, the most, with the most impact to generally the community. So, we, we, like for example, we receive more than 10 proposals in, in one area, but we are able to fund only one or maximum of two. Because again, our premiums are limited and we only use what we have. After the farmers propose that they pass through the AGA, now we, we as a, the committee, we go ahead and implement. By implementing it, uh, we manage, if a, a community proposes a classroom, for example, we are, we are, we are mandated to manage those premiums with the help of the beneficiary. Once a proposal has been acknowledged for funding by the Fair Trade Organization, its implementation must be in line with every procurement procedure laid down by government. We put a lot of emphasis on accountability of this project that we undertake and also the community engagement in the selection of the project. We have had projects that uh, we have had cases of uh, areas that are contested by the community where they are not in agreement of the location or ownership of the project. We've been forced to cancel the projects. Also, if a project is undertaken and that does not meet our expectation, we tell the contractor that he has to repeat the project at his own cost. Our projects are reviewed by the Premium Investment Committee and also in liaison with the county engineer who must approve all our projects and give a certificate of occupancy for buildings. So we follow the technical aspects of any project and accountability. We have uh, our books of accounts that are well managed and we account to the various 
groups or various zones for each and every project. The owner of the project, that's the school or even uh, like the cooler, the owner of the project it forms part of the investment committee that manages the resources for that project. And we do it according to their satisfaction. There's no bureaucracy. Yeah? When we are doing these projects, the moment we are the level of the implementation, we actually stick, yeah? we stick to our timelines. And you find that projects which are fair trade funded, they have, we are very strict on the timelines. And so long as the funds are available, if you see a project will take one, one, uh, one month, we actually even, we even, we even finish it before that one month. Because when we come to the, to the tendering process, it's normally very, very open, very transparent. When you come to the contracting, yeah, and the deal with the contractors, we normally give them timelines because our projects, they are funded 100%. We don't fund halfway. So if a project, we start a project now, and we have estimated it to be done by one month. We actually beat our own event templates because we have very clear procedure, we have very clear uh, method, we have very clear supervision, and we have very clear way of uh, implementation. So comparing with others, I think Fiat Rent to me and to the community, it is the best. It is the best in terms of how our community benefits and in terms of timelines, in terms of management, no bureaucracy, everything is managed as per the standards of the fair trade. Fair trade's contribution to the welfare of the community within Monganya Tea catchment area can be deeply felt by the members of the community. The tremendous impact reflected to the community by fair trade premiums, however, is being negatively affected by ban imposed on the direct sales of tea by government. You find that most of the fair trade buyers they require our teas when they are very fresh. Maybe in a week, they require our teas. But now, that closure of the direct sales, it means whenever they want to buy our teas, they have to go through the auction, which is more kind of a bureaucracy. Because whatever they could then get within one week, they have to wait for a month or two to, to get the same product. So this has meant that some of our buyers maybe to share away from buying from us. And that one eventually means that uh, our, our, our premiums have to come down. Fair trade projects are dependent on the buyers who buy the fair trade certified teas and uh, most of the f uh, buyers were depending on the direct sales. Unfortunately, with the coming of the Act 2020, there has been some reduced uh, buying of fair trade uh, certified teas. So the projects we are going to undertake may be reducing with the time, but uh, we are having some efforts uh, with fair trade and also the Fiat Network in Kenya is doing engagement with the government so that we can open this route. When we open this pathway, we are going to use more money. We can use even uh, as uh, higher as uh, as higher figures above the 11 million that we used last year. Every T premium is a golden opportunity for fair trade organization to touch and transform livelihoods for members of the community surrounding the tea growing zones.